Young learners must learn to hear sounds in words and to link those sounds with their printed symbols. They learn about our printed language in many ways. First, think about what children learn by writing their own messages. They build a writing vocabulary of their known words. And they may analyze an unknown word they want to write by hearing and recording the sounds in the word. Remember when you write, you need to think about saying the words slowly and writing the sounds that you hear. Say it slowly. Track. Track. You say that word slowly. Help. Help. What do you hear? H. Okay, keep going. Let's say it together. Good. Okay, give it a try. You come up here. You try. You try yours up here. Are you right? Check it. Check it. Are you right? Readers and writers learn quickly that it is more efficient to work with larger chunks rather than single phonemes. Now add the last part that you know. I was going to say and the teacher can draw attention to letter clusters during interactive writing. Writing also helps children gain control over words they use frequently, so they can write them quickly with little attention. Teachers can prompt children to use what they already know in order to write a new word. Like when a child needs to write the word Blackie in his story. Is that a word you know? Black. Is it CK or just a K? You're right, it's CK. Black. And it ends like happy. Oh, look at you. During writing, the teacher can also call attention to the many exceptions and alternatives of printed English, and children learn to be flexible and to choose between alternatives. When you spell one, do you spell it like, like the number one or a different way? Children also learn ways of working out new words while they are reading. Again, using known vocabulary will help a child solve new words. Do you know a word that looks like that word? You do? Go ahead and show me. Take your finger up and see if there's a part of that word you know. Competent readers use many different ways of breaking words to solve new words. Teachers must ensure that they know a variety of ways. And children work with larger chunks rather than single phonemes. My dog really likes to eat breakfast. breakfast. Birds sit and sing when they are happy, but they squawk and fly away, squawk and fly away when they get a fright. On Tuesday, Cookie got stuck in a k kitchen Cookie got stuck in a kitchen drawer. I like the way you took that word apart and helped yourself. Sometimes, word work is done in isolation to help children explore a variety of ways to solve words while reading and writing. Magnetic letters offer opportunities for deliberate manipulation of words and word parts. The teacher uses known words to demonstrate how words work in English. Here's a part you know. What does this part say? Oh. Uh, oh, yes. And put this in front of it. Oh. Uh, yeah. And cold. The, oh, look at that. So read this for me. What does he say? Mom, Mom called Zach. Oh, nice work. The goal is not to have the child learn long lists of rhyming words like at, pat, cat, bat, etc. Instead, 
What the child needs to learn is how to work out a new word using a word he already knows. He needs to say to himself, if I know down, I can get to brown. Can you change the word down to make it say brown? And then take that word apart and make sure it looks right. Brown. Okay, and can you change the word out to make it say shout? And take that one apart. Out. All right, and it's important when you write that you think about what you hear and how it's going to look. Do you see a part of that word you know? His. His. Teachers can actively engage children by using individual whiteboards for writing or with magnetic letters. Watch how I'm going to break it apart, okay? One, der, full. That's one way I can take it apart. Through reading and writing continuous text, children learn about sound-symbol relationships. They take on known reading and writing vocabularies and they can use what they know about words to generate new learning. There is no sequence for this learning. Rather, the child's skills determine the sequence. Teacher guidance supports this learning, but the goal is for children to take the initiative, to continue to learn on their own, and to enjoy discovering new things about their language.